Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we got some great giveaways coming up. Eh, 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 eh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's up, geeks? We're back with my main man, Miles Morales. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Whew. Glad I don't have to pay $100 for this one. All right, so box art is fresh. It's art directly from the movie. Back of the box. A Brooklyn native and just 13 years old, Miles Morales is a Spider-Man unlike any we've ever seen before. Barcode in case you need it. Miles in his cage. You see he's got alternate hand set there. He's got a fist set and a webbing flip set. And he's got an alternate head that's fully masked. And also you see the bath piece on the lower left side. No booty shot today, he's a minor. All right, you got the bath piece. This is Stilt Man's armor. Then we've got the accessories. You got the spare fist hand and the spare flip hand, and whoa, and then you have the head which has like a disco ball barbell at the end, so I guess it sticks into the peg in the neck. All right, that's a first for me. Well, hello, my diminutive friend. All right, so he's 13 years old. I get it, but man, this guy is tiny and thin and frail and hungry looking. <laughs> he's really light. Um, it's pretty crazy, but I guess it makes sense because he is basically not a preteen, but he's in his first year of being a teenager, so he would be small, uh, most likely. So I'm digging him. He looks good, movie accurate. Now the face, I'm not sure what it is. It does look like him, but something seems a bit off to me and I can't put my finger on it. There's nothing to complain about, though, because, I mean, he looks movie accurate. There's just something missing or off to me. I don't know. I will say they nailed the hair, though. I really dig it. Not too often you get a character with an afro. It's hot. Look at that skinny neck. It looks like they nailed his shorts from the movie. Uh, like the way they did that, <laughs> where they have the pants legs separate. I was afraid the legs were going to be attached to the groin piece so that way you wouldn't really be able to uh, you wouldn't really be able to manipulate the legs so I'm glad they did that way. And we have his Jordan issues. Alright so the head sculpt. Again it looks movie accurate but there's something off and I can't really put my finger on it. I do like it though. He looks pretty worried. And you see he's got some battle scars and some scuffs on there. All right, do we get a tilt? Yeah, we do. Maybe that's the advantage of that disco ball rocker. Yep, I'm confused. Looking straight up into the face of danger. Looking for a good place to place a web. And we're hanging our head in shame. And the chin goes deep into the chest. All right, so no hint of butterfly joint. You see his arms do go up above shoulder level, well, at least on one side. Couldn't get the other side to go up. I just probably gotta loosen it up a bit. All right, so how far in and how far, this is how far in and how far back they go. You can see here with this gap here, his arms don't come in very close. So he's not HR friendly. No hug for you. Single jointed elbows, bah humbug. All you get is 90 degrees.
you have a 360 swivel at the elbow joint and you got 360 in the wrist and you got Iron Man hinge there so that you can get a repulsor blast punch you in the face kiss the ring other hands the same repulsor blast kiss the ring snitch hand as you see he's got his vest and it does come off and under it it's got its hoodie it's not a full hoodie just the part you can see but it is neat that you can take them off but I don't know why you would take him off because his arms are still going to have the coat sleeves. All right, he does have an abdominal joint that gives you crazy range. Not so much going backwards though. He does have a rocker at his waist. Doesn't add a whole lot more to the range going backwards shallow range going forward also three sixty at the waist can swivel on that rocker ninety degree bend any can can yes he can can would like to have seen it go a little bit higher. Now that's just because I put his head up. Spinning bird kick. Double jointed knobby knees. You can see his foot doesn't quite kick his butt without bending the leg joint there. But if it's straight up, that's as far as it goes. Does get good prancing range there. Toes don't quite point high enough for a moonwalk. But you see pointed down goes flush with the calf. But again, no moonwalk for this guy. Disappointing. Now this is new. I'm pretty sure this is the first legend I have that has this shaft for the uh, neck piece. This is a little disco ball joint I was talking about. Weird. Freaky. So I'm thinking the thwip hands are the way to go. What do you think? Yeah, I wish they had put some gripping hands in there because uh, I recently bought some accessories to do some photography with, but he can't hold anything because he's got the thwip hands and the fist. But I do dig him. Um, I think I like him better without the mask. So I'll probably put him up on the stand without the mask. If he becomes a peg warmer, which hopefully he will because there are a lot of them in the stores, I'll grab another one down the line cheap when it goes on clearance. Anyway, let me know what you think. Does this fit the bill? You've got the $90 version. Uh, I forgot who's making it coming out for GameStop. You got the Mayfix ones. And of course, you're not going to get the same quality, but I think for a $20 figure, this one is pretty darn good. I mean, it's spot on. The lightness is great. Paint job's great. Articulation's great. Not much to complain about there. All right, guys, thanks for all the support. Make sure to like, subscribe. Turn on notifications, leave a comment. That really helps the channel grow. Make sure to check out our giveaway playlist. We've got our 1400 subscriber giveaway coming up. We're giving away an Avengers Age of Ultron Hulkbuster two pack. So you want to make sure you get in on that if you don't have it already. All right, guys, till next time, Miles out.